Number 5. Huawei Mate 20 Pro Huawei Mate 20 Pro is very well known as one of the best camera phones on the planet but it has been absent from DxO Mark ranking for quite some time. The camera received 3 sensor. The main camera is 40 megapixel sensor with f1.8 aperture. Leica wide angle lens is there with f2.2 aperture and a 20 megapixel resolution. As well as you will also find a 8 megapixel telephoto lens with f2.4 aperture. It has got 5 fold digital zoom. There is an optical stabilization at the zoom camera integrated with artificial intelligence. That's too cool. The photos taken are very lively with unbroken noises. Believe me, you will be able to do an incredible photo shoot with this kind of mobile device. Let us now briefly go through the specifications. The phone has a 6.39 inches tall screen diagonal. The resolution is about 3120 by 1440 pixel. It weighs about 189 grams in hand. You will have two SIM card slot. The processor to give you the performance is high silicon Kyrin 980. The memory capacity is about 128 GB. The RAM is about 6 GB. You will have 4200 mAh battery. It has got three cameras, I mean triple cameras, which are 40, 20 and 8 megapixels respectively. On the front, you will be having 24 megapixel camera. That's quite cool. And yes, it does support memory card for expandable storage. Yeah, that's it. Number 4, the OnePlus 7 Pro. One of the key features of this OnePlus 7 Pro is the retractable front camera. The main role of this kind of camera is that it has been well positioned in its intended place and it does consist of three camera modules. The first sensor is at 16 megapixel wide angle. I mean it can rotate like 117 degrees with an f2.2 aperture. The second sensor is a 48 megapixel lens with an aperture of f1.6 and the third sensor is a 8 megapixel lens and this is necessary for creating pictures with an increased multiple zoom. I mean it's kind of create a three dimensional image for you. So that's the brief overview as far as the camera is concerned. I mean the hardware feature is incredibly good. Apart from that, the software feature of this camera allows you to apply loads of changes to your image at will. This phone has a screen diagonal of 6.67 inches. It has got a resolution of 3120 by 1440 pixels. The phone is quite heavy. It weighs about 206 gram in hand. It does have two SIM card slot. For the performance, you will be having Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 processor. The onboard storage capacity is huge, it is about 256. The RAM capacity is 8 GB. The battery capacity is about 4000 mAh. It has got three triple cameras, which are 48, 8, and 16 megapixels, respectively. The front camera is about 16 megapixels. Unfortunately, the phone doesn't support memory card slot. Number 3 Honor 20 Pro. As soon as Honor 20 Pro went on sale, it immediately took up the top in the DxO Mark ranking. Due to what? There are reasons for it. There are four cameras. The main sensor has a resolution of about 48 megapixel with an aperture of f1.4. Now this is something first for the smartphones. If you analyze against other smartphones in the market, there is also optical and electronic stabilization as well as laser focusing is also there. You will receive wide angle sensor with a resolution of 16 megapixel coupled with f 2.2 telephoto lens and this has got resolution of 8 megapixel and there the aperture is about 2.4 and you will have 3x optical zoom supported finally there was a separate module for macro photography with a resolution of 2 megapixel and an aperture of 2.4 but if you opt to use the smaller module you must keep in mind that the distance to the object should be around 4 centimeter only this phone is about 6.26 inches diagonally. It has got a screen resolution of 2340 by 1080 pixels. It weighs about 174 grams in hand. It does have two SIM card slots. 
For the processor you will be having high silicon chitin 980, the memory capacity of this phone is about 128 GB. The RAM capacity is about 6 GB. For the battery capacity you are going to have 3750 mAh. The rear camera is 4 camera. I mean you will have 4 modules on the back side and they are 48, 16, 2 and 2 megapixel modules. I mean there is 2, 2 megapixel mini camera modules on the back side. On the front side you will be having 32 megapixel camera module also. Unfortunately this phone also does not support memory card slot for storage expandability. Number 2 the Samsung Galaxy S10 5G. The Samsung's new flagship scored as many points as Huawei P30. Just remember that this is not the Galaxy S10 but the Galaxy S10 5G which is seriously different. So there is a larger display with a diagonal of 6.7 inches and it has got larger cameras as well both at the front and at the rear and the both the front and the rear cameras have support for shooting 3D images using video live focus and quick measure functions plus it has got TOF sensor for depth analysis so you will be having a sharpness to your images. The battery capacity was also increased to 4500 mAh and when you buy this phone the kit includes ultra fast charging. As for the main camera, it consists of three modules, a 12 megapixel sensor with a telephoto lens with an f2.4 aperture, you will be having PDAF autofocus and optical stabilization. It is also going to have 12 megapixel wide angle module with an aperture of f1.5 or you have options of using aperture f2 or f4 as well and you will having the sensor with an ultra wide viewing angle of 123 degrees with a resolution of 16 megapixel with an aperture of f2.2 so the screen is about 6.7 inches tall diagonally with a resolution of 1440 by 3040 pixels it weighs about 198 grams in hand it does have two sim card slots for the performance you are going to have Exynos 9820 processor the memory capacity is about 256 GB which is huge coupled with a RAM of 8 GB for the battery capacity you are going to have 4000 mAh battery it has three cameras at the back which are 12 12 and 16 and on the front side you are going to have 10 megapixel camera and this phone does have support for memory card for the storage expandability number one the Huawei P30 Pro according to various ratings Huawei has become the number one when it comes to the quality of shooting on the main camera P30 Pro is another confirmation of this it uses triple camera module plus TOF camera the main sensor received a resolution of 40 megapixel but by default it takes a resolution of 10 megapixel it is believed that this is more convenient for the user it has an aperture of f1.6 there is a PDAF autofocus and optical stabilization there is also an LED flash, laser autofocus and a TOF sensor responsible for blurring the background. The second module is ultra wide camera with a resolution of 20 megapixel and aperture of f2.2. The third module is responsible for optical zoom and various type of zooms are also supported such as optical, hybrid, digital. The shooting quality is without a doubt excellent be it day or night. So the phone is about 6.47 inches tall diagonally with a resolution of 2340 by 1080 pixels. It weighs about 192 grams in hand. It does have two SIM card slot. For the performance you are going to have high silicon chitin 980. The onboard storage capacity is about 256 GB with a RAM of 8 GB and the battery capacity is about 4200 mAh. The rear camera is a triple one. Also, you have three modules at the rear camera. They are 40, 20 and 8 megapixels respectively. And the front camera you are going to have 32 megapixel and it does have support for memory card slot. So that's all for today. So if you like my video, please stay with me and do subscribe to my channel for more updated information. And please do not forget to hit the bell icon. Your subscription is my support throughout this journey.